اوكي يا اوتيز هاف يو سين ماي سكرين يا اي كان سي يور سكرين فيري ويل اوكي توداي وي ار ديسكسنج ا وير هاوس مانجمنت وات از وير هاوس مانجمنت اند هاو ات ورك ان اس بي اوكي our learning learning object is you, you are able to name some functionalities of the wm warehouse management module define the central organizational structure of the wm mm -hmm. summarize the master data which is the most important for wm mm -hmm. and explain standard warehouse management processes okay this will be our objective functionality there are multiple functionalities of wm how to put the seeds how to goods issue picking packing shipping and physical inventory okay these are the main functionalities of warehouse management okay okay our agenda to discuss wm organizational structure create master data of uh, warehouse management and process management and control of wm innovations in s4 hanas this is our agenda today to discuss so this is uh, organizational structure of wm mm -hmm. as the client is very upper side and the lower level is a company code okay on one mm -hmm. client we can create multiple company codes okay mm -hmm. every company code have its own plants like global bike uh, us mm -hmm. have three plants telas san diego and miami three plants mm -hmm. of this company code okay mm -hmm. every plant have its own store locations like mm -hmm. this plant have three store locations trading goods finished goods and miscellaneous mm -hmm. and uh, every storage location assigned to a warehouse number mm -hmm. every store location is visually assigned to a warehouse number mm -hmm. okay. okay okay and uh, on every warehouse management we can create different store types shelf storage mm -hmm. tr area pallet storage shipping area deliveries stock transfer plant mm -hmm. and uh, storage section is a total section So this is the mm -hmm. organizational structure of WM. Have you understand this structure? Uh, yeah, I understand. I have a question here. Okay. Okay. So meaning, when I have a yeah, when I have a goods in trading goods and and finished goods, when I'm transferring goods from trading store like storage uh, items in trading goods. to to finish goods the transfer is going to be storage location to storage location or bin to bin which one is easier when you want to transfer goods from trading goods to finish goods store okay mm -hmm. yeah and finish goods store is activated with wm okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so your stock will be uh, arranged on this wm warehouse and uh, mm -hmm. will be show you on in different uh, story types mm -hmm. and type, yeah. every story type have uh, its own bins yes okay okay yes so you can see where the specific stock is stand now in this in which story location which mm -hmm. warehouse which is storage type and which is the uh, in in which bin so it will be easily tracked from system okay okay and uh, yeah because i i you know i designed one you know the one that i sent you yes the yes you, you have sent me a one one bin you know i sent you yeah i sent you one uh, st uh, warehouse planning i don't know if you still remember on 5 okay on so you can you can uh, these are the storage types which is used on every moment i have for example mm -hmm. if you transfer stock within a plant so this storage type will be hit okay yeah transfer 
and this is the gear uh, area when you receive goods from purchase order or production order so so this story type is believe will be uh, hit on the base of good receipts so so every story types have its uh, own uh, criteria that uh, uh, on every movement type so mm -hmm. this is can easily to find out that what type of movement are using in wm and on which which store which type of movement stocks are existing okay because okay 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 uh, as you know client and independent environment in the system company code smallest organization unit uh, which you mm -hmm. can maintain a legal set of books like balance sheet pnl profit and loss accounts it's called a company mm -hmm. code land operating area or branch within a company manufacturing distribution purchasing or maintenance facility is called a plant store location and organization unit allowing differentiate between the various stocks of a material in a plant mm -hmm. okay so okay. this structure you have no already i'm just explaining you to revise yeah, yeah. but uh, okay and here's it because our business we want to uh, uh I want to design a new well structure, which I sent you on Fiverr. And this is how I start. I created I created a plant and I created three storage locations. Okay. So and if you want to configure on your system, okay. So it will be your development system, development server. So if my server will not be logged in tomorrow, so we will be created on your server. But it will be actual data, not practice data. No, no, actually, okay, yeah, this is just, I want you to see how it is, because now they say I have to send it to the those implementation team for them to review, and before approval, and there's a, now there's a lot of bureaucratic head towards to it. Uh, okay. I just sent it to you. On okay, WhatsApp no issue. You... I, I will be using my server. No, no, no. We are not. I don't. It's not about the creative. It's just, I want us to discuss it and see if it's in line with the laws, like the good structure. And I, because I want to ask you some questions. I have one colleague who was saying that I should make one only just one storage location and put everything in there, but I want it to be different. And what's the best? Having one on having it different. Which one is the best?
Hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so congratulations. Our server is, has been recovered. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Uh, perfect. I The one that I sent you, did you find it? The picture that I just sent you? Okay, just I'm just uh, opening your, uh, your diagram which you have sent. Mm-hmm. I want us to discuss something so, so which will be in line with. Have you shown? Uh, can you see my screen? I can see it very well. Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay. Okay. So on Fiverr. I I, I sent you on WhatsApp now. Okay, you have sent more WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay, this exactly. Yeah. So you as you oh which is almost the same as what you are explaining to me now. <laughs> this is a various number. This is a three types of rack. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. One rack is a PP, LID, spinach yours, bins, three bins. Yes, yes. And this story type have this type of bins. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So my question is, is it good to have one storage location and have Attached to uh, the warehouse number or have separate three different, or like I want to make two, actually two different storage locations. And yes, you one. can you can use uh, uh, two locations with one warehouse. Okay. And having the two, what is the benefit of the two and having what's the benefit I of think, one? I think it's recommended that if you want to run two warehouse, you should use two storage locations because some of entries, uh, when we run WM, there are multiple uh, transactions have uh, generated in WM. So uh, due to create any mess, you you should create different location for different WM warehouse. Uh, okay, no, but I want I want to have one warehouse number, but yeah, no I, issue, no issue. If you have okay. only one location and need to create one warehouse, this is a perfect. That okay, so meaning one is having one warehouse number, always having one storage location is better than having two storage locations, right? Yeah, this is better than this is better than for two warehouse one location. Mm, no, because I, I want yes, yeah, my question is my question is one warehouse number but two storage locations, or one warehouse number, one uh, one storage location. Which one is better? Uh, the one one warehouse one location. This is the better. That's the better. Why? Be because uh, every warehouse stock is uh, uh, you can see uh, the stock uh, of every warehouse from the um, uh, every story locations because stock mm -hmm. in warehouse uh, are uh, warehouse numbers will be show you different story types, different movement types. So. Mm -hmm. Story location can we show you uh, some of stock in one uh, go from MB52. There is no mm -hmm. need to check in where else you just run the MB52 and you can check the total how much stock is existing in this story location. Oh, okay. So if you have two story location and you run MB52, you have to identify which story location you are right, running in, into. Yeah. Today, oh. I, I will show you how, how this is better to create one by one. Okay, because the point is, our warehouse. I want to create a new one, so I'm thinking if one somebody suggested me, one of my colleagues suggested me to create only just one storage location, and I was thinking, okay, we have our our, our production area, and we have a, uh, another extra warehouse outside where we keep only raw material in there. Okay, so I was thinking of. Like creating two storage locations, one for the, the one this, for the. This, when you have two storage locations, so why you want to create one warehouse number? Two. Because if, if, if there are two storage locations, means there are two physically places. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. 
so when there are two physically places why you why we combine at one in where's where else mm, mm, mm. so that's why if you have two so equation you need to create two warehouse number mm. there will be no extra extra, extra work because uh, uh, when you transfer of uh, when you use same transaction at a one time from two locations that how will be one warehouse will be impact mm, i get it so it's better to have one storage location yeah. you, you, so, you should use one storage location for one warehouse okay so meaning having example having storage location raw material storage location finished good storage location semi finished good i can have only just one storage location and i call it storage location into warehouse number does it you just tell me how your physical area is uh, settled every storage okay. location is uh, is is uh, physically different uh, it's, it's in the same place in the same place it's not a distance okay. like one, if this one is, is a, yeah. if this is a, in a same place so uh, so we can create a one because one. because on material type we can segregate different materials like uh, uh, some of raw materials it will be different material type and some of uh, raw materials its material type will be different and finished mm -hmm. material will be type will be different so we can segregate on the type of material mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay if, if this is if this is uh, one physically placed so we will use only one location one warehouse number there is no need to create different story location okay 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 makes sense then so so in uh, physically when we run when we create a warehouse number and run the transaction you can you can be very uh, satisfied uh, from physically transactions of wm you, you just run you just see what uh, how we will be configured and how wm will be behave okay yeah because now now that you're saying it okay then i get it then because i was thinking we because we have on the physical location we have a the plant where we produce the items and outside the plant we have, but in the same area, we have another storage where we keep the raw materials there. That was why I was thinking of having two different storage locations. But I think as you, as you are saying, it's better since they are in the same area, same same land, that there's no distance from one to the other. It's better to yeah. create one storage yeah. location. Actually, okay. storage type we create when physically places are different. Mm, story locations okay 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 so if physically it's one place so that's why i don't need to create different story locations okay 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 uh we can segregate on the type of material because raw material mm. type will be different its number range is different semi-finished material type different its number range will be different and also finished material uh, i think you understand the, what is a material type what is a number range? yeah 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 so we can segregate on the type of material base, uh, material number and material type. Okay, okay. So it is so when its number ranges are different, so can easily identify it. This is a finish, this is a raw, this is a semi-finish. But the issue is we are right on the material coding. We are moving to random coding. So uh, so no issues that, that with the, this will be we will discuss this on the end of session because. Uh, our uh, uh, objective today to create a warehouse. How how warehouse uh, to create? Yeah. Okay. So that that we I will be answered you your all questions. Okay. No worries. But now my question uh, my question is been answered. So yeah, thank you. I will be answered for your uh, your question. Don't worry. So today we we will be create uh, a store uh, warehouse number okay mm -hmm. so to create warehouse number we need to go on spro it's a configuration decode okay mm -hmm. yeah img click on reference img mm -hmm. enter by the structure mm -hmm. Go to definition. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 
सिलिकॉन लॉजिस्टिक जर्नल ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई क्रिएट अ स्टोरी इक्वेशन बिकॉज इट विल बी इट विल बी नॉट अफेक्ट टू द एग्जिस्टिंग स्टोरी इक्वेशन ओके तो क्रिएट अ न्यू स्टोरी इक्वेशन I'm just creating a new story equation, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New, new entry, yeah, yeah. And four thousand one for WM, okay? Yeah. Save. Go back. Okay, I create new store location. Now, I create a new warehouse number. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's warehouse number yeah. from, from enterprise structure. Okay, and mm -hmm. go to the definition and go to the logistic execution. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, define copy lead warehouse number. Click mm -hmm. on this button. Define warehouse number. Mm -hmm. Okay, already one hundred. I'm creating a new. It's two hundred. Okay, what what name should be suggest you for this warehouse? Just uh, testing. Yeah. Testing WM. Okay. Yeah. The warehouse number. Okay, first of all, I create a story equation and then create a warehouse number. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I, now I need to assign in logistic execution assign warehouse to story equation. Mm -hmm. New entry plant is a. This was US uh, D. DL double zero. Mm -hmm. Location is four thousand one and WM and so warehouse number is two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on this plant, this store location assigned to this warehouse number. Yeah. Okay. Now save this button. So note on your notepad that. First of all, you should have a story location, okay? Yeah. And then you need to create a warehouse number, mm -hmm. and then you need to assign warehouse number to story location. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you need to go again on SPRO, click on IMG reference, okay? Mm -hmm. And go to Logistic execution. Where is logistic execution? 
This is a logistic execution. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go to warehouse management. Yeah. In warehouse management, Excuse it creates master master data in master data. Mm -hmm. Define. Define storage. storage type. Okay. Yeah. These storage types already created for warehouse number one hundred. I just click all. Yes. And, and copy. copy, okay? Yeah. Copy to where's number 200, press enter. Mm -hmm. This will be, this is a standard setting, which is by SAP. I'm just copying, okay? Okay, yeah. Give your where's number and press enter. See the SU unit, where is SU unit? Apply. You press on save. I'm just copying uh, the story type from no standard from standard warehouse to the to the new yeah. warehouse which I have created. Okay. Okay. And just save. Define story sections. Mm -hmm. I have just copied from. Press save. Storage mm -hmm. sections are saved. Click on picking area. Mm -hmm. There are multiple picking area. Mm -hmm. I just select all and copy to the new warehouse. Mm -hmm. Save this. Okay. The number engines is miss. Number engines assignment. What's number engines? Yes. First number engines. You just copy first line. What What's the meaning of number engines? Number engines means uh, when. The where of document number will be create what number range will be assigned. Okay. What number will be assigned? Okay. It's zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one. Just save this. This all strategy I will be show you on transaction when uh I will run the transaction intervals. Okay, this is the intervals which is already assigned to. Hundred, I just press on two hundred. Okay. I just copied from.
Okay, in number ranges, I assigned a number is zero one. Mm -hmm. Okay, this zero one means this number will be assigned to the document of the warehouse number. Okay. 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 Click on save. These all number ranges need to sign. It's zero one. Parts. This these all are same. Okay, number is this. These number is need. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in uh, in warehouse management, click on activities mm -hmm. and uh, click on transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now define movement types. Okay, mm -hmm. type movement as how much movement types can be used in this warehouse. I just copied one zero one three zero one three two one all movement types which are using. Copied to the new warehouse. Something miss. Click on back. Oh, this this is the last one minute. Uh, can you send the Zoom link? Yeah. Okay. My link uh, link is going to expire. Can you send? Okay, please send me. Okay, let me send you one. 